What's up guys? It's Shay with the Athletes Addict and I'm back for another video and it's been a while um, and as you can see something has changed about me. Um, that is actually called being bored, stuck in the house, not being able to walk and in a ton of pain. So you do something drastic to take your mind off the pain and it was that. Didn't turn out too great, did it myself. So I've been a hat guy lately. <laughs> Um, so yeah, guys, man, it's been a minute, um, you know, as most of you know, I was, um, involved in a very bad car accident, um, October 20, October, hey, be quiet, October 21st, um, which is the day after my birthday, my birthday is October 20th, um, also on October 20th, my birthday, we buried my best friend my whole life, I was a pallbearer, um, so, Safe to say a bad sequence of events. Um, the, end, the wreck was pretty severe, life-threatening. Um, I had a seizure at the wheel on the highway doing 60. My foot stayed on the gas and I hit a um, tree and a train track, which was about 10 feet tall, so it was like a brick wall. And I came to a complete stop. I broke my back. Um, I shattered my leg in a very rare break, very bad break. Um, destroyed my face. Um, I still have a little scar, as you can see. Um, several face surgeries. Um, half my head was actually hanging off. Um, I had seven surgeries in total. I almost lost my leg because it caught an infection to the, due to the metal, my body rejecting the metal. So it was scary. I, had, I spent a lot of time in the hospital. Um, but you know, looking back on the wreck, it was a blessing in my eyes because um, it opened my eyes to a lot of things and changed my perspective. And, um, you know, as most of you know, and I'll be completely open with you guys, I've struggled with addiction, which started from an injury that I got from baseball. And, um, yeah, so I had a struggle with pain pills for a long time and was struggling and you know, it was like God took his hand off of me and said, look, Shay, I've given you so many chances. Something's got to give. And um, the wreck happened. And um, yeah, it opened my eyes. I've been sober since. And man, I feel like, I feel like myself again, guys. Um, if you're struggling, man, don't, don't feel hesitant to reach out. You're not alone, man. So many people are struggling. And it's tough, man. I went through some dark times, you know, I was getting sober while going through the recovery, you know, I couldn't walk for three months, I just actually started walking, um, I was laid up in the house for the longest time, so it got depressing and boring, um, so I recently, um, have been trying to develop some sort of income again on gloves, um, so I decided, hey, why not? make a new video you know since i've got some new gloves and stuff and so um i'll start it off with uh i don't have a ton right now but um started off with this pro issue a2000 y pattern so if, if you're familiar with the y pattern it's the same pattern as yasiel Puig. so this is his exact glove basically and as you know if a glove has this tag that's a pro issue and also, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see. Let's get it on this side. Let's see if I can get that in there. Uh, you might not be able to see. Oh, yeah, you can barely see it. So, it'll show the size inside the glove by the thumb. As you can see, it doesn't say the size where it normally does. That's how you can tell it's a pro issue. I actually have two of these. Um, got lucky, found a bunch, bought them. Um, so, I um, actually sold a few already. I wish I still had them, or I wish I would have did the video a little bit sooner. Um, so I could have had all the videos, I mean all the gloves in the video. But, um, man... <laughs> Listen, guys, I don't know if I'll ever be able to play baseball again because of my injuries. But if I'm ever back on the field and I'm playing outfield, you better believe I'm using this, this glove. Um, I mean, it just feels so good. It's got super skin. It's beautiful. You know, black and that highlighter yellow always just sticks out so good. Um, I love it, man. It is just... 
it feels so good, man. I mean, you can't beat it. You cannot beat it. Hey! Sorry, my dogs are going a little crazy. You cannot beat this, man. Top of the line. Absolutely top of the line. Bam. So next, um, sticking to the pro issue trend. This one's a good one. DW5, 12 inch. So I was never a 12 inch glove fan. Reason being is because I felt like it was just right in the middle of an infielder and outfielder's glove. Now I know a lot of third basemen use 12 inches. DW5, named after David Wright, third baseman. This glove changed my thoughts on DW5 and 12 inch gloves. I would so rock this at third base, possibly even shortstop. Not the outfield, I feel like it's a little too small for outfield. But man, I love this glove. This DW5, I've always said since I got into the glove game, Pro Issue A2000s are my favorite gloves. They feel the best, without a doubt. My, my word stays true with, with these gloves, man. I mean, it's just a beauty. And as you can see, no size, just DW5. And if you can see it, barely. You can see 12 inch right there. Love it, man. I mean, it feels so good. I want to use it so bad, but since I'm selling it, I'm not going to, but... Man, I want to so bad. But, at least I got it, you know. So last one, guys. I know this was a short one, but I promise I'm going to work on building it back up again. Um, so this is a new brand, guys. Um, this guy, Lulu Randy. I think he's based out of Houston and, and Georgia. Um, he's a retired teacher. And he got into the glove industry. He created his own brand. Lorandi Gloves, I believe that's his last name. And he's basically trying to do something new. He's trying to offer cheaper custom gloves. Um, you know, and he's doing the business all by himself, so um, I can imagine it's tough, and he's doing pretty good. Um, and I really want to see him succeed, and I want to help him as much as I can. Um, we recently did a giveaway on my Instagram. Um, Nice glove. Winner got it and stuff. This is a Pete Rose inspired glove. It's 11 and 3 quarters. 11.75. In the palm. Randy. It feels good, guys. I'm not going to lie. This glove feels really, really, really good. Um, and for the price point, I believe this is under $150. Um, and you can customize it however you want. Um, this is A2000. Like... Same category as A2000, Heart of the Hive, without a doubt, without a doubt. Um, you know, people just go after the names, A2000, Wilson, Heart of the Hive, Rawlings, you know, they go through the names, but these new brands, guys, they are, they're good. The glove game is getting tighter and tighter with better glove brands, and yeah, so give them a try, guys, give them a uh, little shout, order you something takes about six to eight weeks customize it and then do whatever you want with it you'll like it trust me trust me they feel good I wouldn't I wouldn't say that on a glove that doesn't feel good to you know put you out of money this glove feels good um, but yeah guys unfortunately that is it man I wish I had some more and I did recently but I was just a little too lazy um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. Um, look, guys, I, I made some mistakes in the past year, man. Um, I treated people bad. I thought I was better than a lot of people. Um, I thought I could treat people however I wanted. You know, I was mean, disrespectful. Um... I just thought I was the man and life humbled me. 
you know, and I believe my karma was my wreck in in a, in a sense. Um, but you know, I I I've gained a lot of haters. Um, got a lot of haters, and de deservedly so, you know. Um, but I'm trying to turn over a new leaf, guys. I'm sober, and um, hey, calm down. I'm sober. I feel like a new me. And I want to show you guys a new me. Um, so. You know, I hope my actions can show you guys things are different. And, um, you know, I, I want to apologize to everyone that I've hurt, offended, wronged, or anything. Because I, I didn't talk to people nicely at all. I thought I was better than people. I just thought I could do whatever I wanted. And that's just not how you're supposed to go about life. Um, and so I learned the hard way. But, hey, sometimes that's what happens in life, you know. And um, it is what it is. And I could have just folded and ran away and hid and avoided all the mistakes that I made but look I love gloves um, I don't want to leave gloves and so I'm admitting my mistakes facing them head-on righting my wrongs and I want to apologize to everyone that I have offended or came at the wrong way or anything along those lines so um, I am sorry um, but yeah Look forward to more videos soon, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'll be having some more videos coming up soon. I'll maybe even explain my wreck, what happened, and um, we'll go from there. But, see you guys later. Have a good one.